Baby, we will watch out for snakes. Ah, chinchado, chinchado, <laughs> baby. Ooh, that's a good throw right there. I'm gonna come right past Whatever. <laughs> That's a fish mouth. Ah. <laughs> ah, beautiful Kerr Lake. Today we're at the Nutbush Campground, which is the southernmost campground that is part of the Kerr Lake State Recreation Area, located in Henderson, North Carolina. It's windy today, so I don't know if uh, we're going to be successful fishing. I forgot to check the wind before I reserved this. I'll show you the bathroom and the shower room. Just the man say. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, there's a shower in there. So what? Three shower stalls behind the divider there. Got some sitting room. Two toilets. basics sink at its largest Kerr Lake covers over 50,000 acres and is a result of impoundment of the Roanoke River by the John H. Kerr Dam baby we will watch out for snakes ah, chinchado, <laughs> chinchado, baby. we're on the hunt for some fish I bet there's some fish right under that dock that, that freaking dock if that boater leaves I'm gonna I'm gonna cast right under that dock because they usually around those poles uh -oh. Gary? Yeah, this is a period of safety. You and I hold it 300 pounds. Probably not. Oh, babe, right over there by that tree, that's where we need to be. Let me go there. Yeah. Unlike Lake Gaston downstream, the lake levels here can rise and fall dramatically, hence the need for floating docks. I might cast a few times out here up under that tree there. We need a way further. The lake was created in the early 1950s and named after John H. Kerr, a former member of the United States House of Representatives. It's not going to die. You need to change the die. It's not going to die. It's a small hook, but it might work. Uh, this way, because the sun is right this way. Ow, ow. Uh, look what I got. Look what I got, babe. Look at that! What he got! Wow! Piece of a wood! That's what he said. Oh yeah! You think oh yeah working? Okay, we see. We see. Change the bait. Yeah, these poles right here. Aya, 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 aya. There, you might come in this way. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, feeling something? Water. The average depth of the lake is 30 feet, with its deepest point being near the dam at around 100 feet. That's the best shot ever I see. Chapter 17. So strong windy. Babe, where are we going? Why we go capsize? It's all city. So after taking a rusin from G Money on my fishing talent, we headed back to the campsite, started a campfire, and we were hoping to cook some fish that night, but it just didn't work out as planned, so we ended up cooking something a little less fishy, which happened to be chicken wings. <clears throat> we just took them off the grill. Just got them in the woman pad in there. Garlic jalapeno rub. Not bad. After a few adult beverages and a lengthy discussion on what our plans were for tomorrow, we decided to call it a night. Mm. Got a little griddle. All right, good morning, party people. It is uh, still another windy day, so our fishing may be limited, but we had a little visit from the, the park ranger this morning and said the electricity was going to be cut. 
for about four hours later on. But not really going to affect us because we'll probably be gone by then anyhow. But yeah, we're going to try to find a cove somewhere. The wind's not blowing as hard. See if we can cast the line. But uh, it's still windy. Thought it'd be a little less windy today. Not happening right now. All right. So we've been trying to find a little uh, fishing cove. But uh, I don't have a fishing license in Virginia, so we were just driving around the lake. So we're going to show you a couple of different viewpoints. We're at uh, Palmer Point recreational area right now. This is in Boydenton, Virginia. You can see the dam over there. There's a little viewpoint over there. And then over here, you can see where the, uh, the Roanoke River dumps in. So we're kind of at the... Uh, the northern point here but yeah we'll probably drive over there to the uh to the viewpoint but it's beautiful out on this side we saw one person fishing back at the other uh marina but uh, he's got better fishing gear than i've got i don't have a whole lot of stuff with me especially like weights so my line just goes crazy but this is a pretty. pretty nice out here Hold it down on it. And they got reservable shelters, grills. Place is booming in the summertime. Dandelions? Uh, they brought a lot of sand in here. It's good. It's not gonna hurt. Wow. Taco. Mm -hmm. Kerr Lake State Recreation Area is comprised of seven or eight of these access areas, depending on who you ask. Kerr Lake is known as Bugs Island Lake to Virginians and Kerr Lake to North Carolinians, and you can tell that it has a clay base, which gives the water an orange-brownish tint. Ah! Man, always the same spot in you. No, baby, come like it. Yes! Yes! That's stupid. Thing. Yes! Exciting moment. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> That's so stupid. One of the silliest things about YouTubers is the clickbait thumbnails they create, so we're just having a little fun there. The lake provides flood control, hydroelectricity, and a drinking source for local municipalities. Right across the road over there in the sandy beach before let's take a ride over the uh the dam see what's going on yeah no stopping on dam no fishing car dam look at the birds crossing the dam we pulled into the Joseph Tanner Education Center and visited Tugboat Dan. Tugboat Dan started its life in Duluth, Minnesota but was later moved to Kerr Lake where its primary function was raising sunken ships and pushing barges. Just below the dam sits Tail Race Park so if you're thinking about doing some kayaking, fishing, or just having a picnic in one of the shelters and look no further. Bird watching is also popular here. There's a small pier you can walk out and often see bald eagles. We didn't see one on our trip, but maybe next time. After exiting the park and just down the road a bit, we came upon this relic. This was like a uh, turbine for hydropower. I'm not sure what it says. Unit 7 water wheel from the John Kerr Powerhouse. 1952, it's fabricated by the Newport News Shipyard. 45,000 horsepower water wheel. Commonly called turbine, largest single cast water wheel made in our country. The water wheel is connected to a an electric generator produces power for the hydroelectric dam. 
Powerhouse has nine hydroelectric generators. Part of the Powerhouse Rehabilitation was moved from service in May 2009. It has been replaced with a 61,500 horsepower stainless steel turbine. This 1952 has been, turbine has been saved permanent monument. The employees that have worked in the Powerhouse since its construction in 1952. That's a pretty big cast uh, turbine. I wonder how much a stainless steel turbine actually costs. That's got to be a pretty penny. All right, we're going to finish our lunch and drive around the rest of the lake here. Making our way north around Kerr Lake, yeah. we pass through Boydenton, Virginia. The brick building you see there is the town hall. In half a mile, turn left onto US 58 West. On our way south around the west side of Kerr Lake, we decided to take a quick stop at Steel Creek Marina. Now, this is a private marina and campground. Check out that really cool houseboat there. Collects the recreation area. Satterwhite Point. Oh, that's nice. Confused. Actually, these look a little better. I like the style of these to pull throughs like that. Yeah, but it's the nice. same thing together. All reservated. So oh, they got a boat ramp just for campers. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Looks like it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They, oh, they put got the beach. hammer. Yeah, that's a nice right there. Wow, what, what the number, babe? Uh, Something around 31, I think. Okay, 31, 3. It's a lot more, there's like a lot more sites yeah. closer together in here, but. But still look right. Uh, I think I like get in this the water. area yeah. better. What kind is this? J.C. Cooper campground. One of the things we like to do when we're out camping is to visit other campgrounds and that just kind of gives us an idea about where we want to stay the next time. They say a picture is worth a thousand words but seeing it in real life is a much better experience. Look at that camp area. Just like a just backyard like a nice yeah, view. Yeah, pretty nice. Alright, time to wrap this trip up. Hope you enjoyed the content. Now back to the traffic jams and the noise.